Hey, at 744, the life of a New Orleans political fixer and infamous mob figure, Frenchie Bouillet, was uncovered, uh, uncovered the underground history of the Italian-American crime family based here in New Orleans. His story was documented in the book called Mr. New Orleans, The Life of a Big Easy Underworld Legend. The book was published several years ago, but joining us now to talk about the book, which is now on, on audio, uh, American true crime writer and historian Matthew Randazzo the fifth and the narrator of the audiobook actor Lewis Hertham, who's from Baton Rouge. Now, now Matthew, you have the last name that sounds like you're from here. And uh, uh, Lewis, you're, you're from here, but you don't have the last name that sounds like you're from here. True. Yeah, yeah well, I, my, uh, I, I'm, I'm a New Orleans native, uh, so it's one of those things where the Randazzo brand name is really helpful in letting folks know where you're from in a very short period of time. So I thank my distant cousins and with the King Cake businesses. Okay, well, that, that, that's a good, yeah. it's a good title to claim. Uh, first of all, tell us, tell us about, about, about this guy. I mean, uh, you know, this guy, Frenchie, I had not heard of him really. And then I started reading some of your stuff and I'm going, holy mackerel. Yeah, no, Frenchie Brouillette in a lot of ways is kind of like the Forrest Gump of the New Orleans underworld. He was in the right place in the right time over and over again. He came from Marksville, Louisiana as a 17-year-old runaway on the back of a stolen Harley Davidson and spent the next 50 years on a uh, organized crime bender where he did just about everything you can imagine. So he was a perfect tour guide to the secret history of the New Orleans underworld for me. And, and uh, the, the thing that's so cool about this is now, if you haven't read it, it it's, it's now out in, in audiobook form and you were able to get some, some uh, great actor to do it. Yeah, no, it's incredible. Uh, I mean, I had an audiobook offers for this book for a decade and I kept saying no, because as a New Orleans native, you realize how horrible it is when people uh, do adaptations of stories from New Orleans. You have these ridiculous accents. And so I kept saying the guy I wanted to do it was my good friend, Louis Hertham from Baton Rouge. Uh, and oh, we waited and waited and waited. And finally, after Louis's enormous success on Westworld, we were able to get it done. And I'm so thrilled we did. He was perfect. And, and Louis, what does this mean for you to do somebody, you know, from your home state, from New Orleans, to be able to do this? Well, it was scary. It was to be honest with you, I mean, because Matthew, uh, you know, I know how, uh, how important this book was to Matthew and for the reasons that he just stated, how uh, protective he's been. There's been a lot of people interested in this project, not just for the audio book, for, for TV and, and film and stuff. So uh, I was very honored. It was, it was, you know, a little daunting because um, Quite frankly, I've done a lot of accents in my career, but even growing up in Louisiana, to me, the Cajun accent and the New Orleans accent is still one of the hardest uh, to do. So can you so give I'm, us a little, a little taste of what you sounded like? Uh, well, you know, that's interesting because uh, Frenchie, uh, Matthew can give you an example of what Frenchie sounded like, but I, I felt like if I tried to do the whole book in Frenchie's voice, he had a very high pitch voice. Um, so I, well, you know, it is five in the morning here, but uh, <laughs> yeah, you guys are in uh, LA. I I tried to do it, just tried to color a little bit of of the accent without doing too much of it, you know, and and, and Actually, of course that's you, not had bad. A, you had to do well, we, and then of course we found a sort of mix between the the yat accent and the Cajun accent, but I also do a lot of different voices i do a different voice for the different characters of which there are many and uh, um very colorful characters i mean it was a blast for me yeah. it was the first time i've ever done anything like this and i mean you, you guys are both from from louisiana but, but uh, uh uh lewis had you ever heard of a frenchie before never no, i had never see? heard of frenchie uh -uh. and uh i mean i read the book i was uh I was told about the book by a friend, uh, Clifton Lee in Baton Rouge, and he introduced me to Matthew. Uh, so I bought the book, uh, read it, and then Matthew came to Baton Rouge to do a, uh, uh, I was in, ba I happened to be in Baton Rouge at the time. Uh, and I, I went and met Matthew at a, at a book signing at uh, Barnes and Nobles in Baton Rouge. And, uh, you know, we became fast friends. Yeah. It, it really is one of the best reads. And and, and quickly, I, ever. Matthew, I guess yeah. now that's an audio book, your next step is uh, maybe a movie? Yeah, no, uh, we're working right now on a TV adaptation of Mr. New Orleans uh, with some great showrunners and producers. Uh, and so we're really excited for this epidemic to get done with and for Hollywood uh, actors to learn how to read quicker.
so we can get it on television. <laughs> there you go. All right, Matthew Lewis, we appreciate that. The, the, company, the book is a great read. The audio is, is great, so if you can pick that up, it's on Amazon, correct? It's Amazon and Audible.com, Mr. New Orleans. All right, very good. Thank you, guys. We appreciate that.